Hey guys, Jeremy Wells here in Fort Myers, Florida. I'm going to revisit Sam Sneed's swing today. I'm going to go through some backswing uh, terminology and go through his leg action, which is just so easy to fall in love with um, in this picture on the left. As far as the backswing goes, Sneed's a perfect version, um, explanation of somebody who comes out of their forward bend goes into extension and left side bend beautifully on the way back. One thing to note, and I'll explain that fully here in a sec, one thing to note about Sneed is his head's going to stay pretty much perfectly centered, and it's also going to stay very tall. It's not going to have much lowering like you might have seen in the video on my swing a couple minutes ago. So when you get all these tilts synced up properly, what that allows you to do is stay pretty centered and make a nice full turn with your left shoulder down to the golf ball. Okay, so first we're going to talk about his forward bend. Forward bend is when you're bent forward to the golf ball. You can see me over on the right, oh, I just have a club, I'm tilted over, and I'm bent forward. Okay, if you remain in forward bend throughout your backswing, imagine your chest going really far this way. Okay, if that chest stays low, you would just lean over here to the right. So you're actually going to come out of your forward bend and go into extension. Extension on the right is when you stand up. Very natural motion. You go from forward bend to extension. You stand up. That actually happens in your backswing. Okay, stay with me here. So now we've gone from forward bend to extension. We're just isolating these movements. I'm going to go ahead and turn. Okay, so now I'm in extension and I've turned. Notice how I'm pretty centered. The spine's pretty much straight up and down. Obviously, that wouldn't be the best backswing because I'm standing straight up and down. So I'm going to go into what's called left bend. I'm going to bend my shoulder, my left shoulder, down towards the ball. So I feel a big old stretch back in my right side, back behind me. Okay, You can't see it, that other side of me. Back right side has a big stretch. Right hip deepens as my right leg straightens. Left knee comes in like so. All right, so that's going from forward bend into extension, turning, left bend. Now, that's isolating these movements all in different orders. It's important to be able to do that and to know which factor maybe you're better at and which one, which piece you might need a little work on. The end product, if you do them all sequenced properly, will look something like this. A nice centered turn. Nice free motion. See his left leg coming in. We know Sneed's right leg straightening. And uh, pretty huge hip turn, giving him super mobility on the way back. All right. So maybe that gives you the finally gives you an explanation of what all of us are talking about when we're saying left bend, right bend, extension, flexion on the way back. Now on the way through, the coolest thing in my opinion about Sam Snead's golf swing was his leg action. Note that he's turned his hips drastically on the way back. So as he starts to rotate them forward, because your hips are oval shaped and not round, you're going to see what looks to be a dramatic lateral motion in transition. So you're going to see this front left hip really work out laterally. But notice how the back right side of his hip stays pretty well put. Okay, so this is more of his hips turning, lowering and turning, less of him pushing early in the downswing. Due to the shape of his hips, it looks like more of a slide. But if you think about that, um, not really what's going on here. His left side, left knee, left thigh, left hip are all rotating aggressively. Very free motion, keeping the left side low and opening. His right leg, however, is not rotating internally towards the target. It's staying externally rotated. 
So that leg looks like it's doing absolutely nothing. I'll show you the other side in a sec. It's really cool. What it's actually doing is flexing. He's getting into the ground. He's lowering. So what I would call this in his early downswing is he's lowering and opening his hips. Setting himself up to get his belt facing the target with some flex in his legs. Facing the target some amount, excuse me, with some flex in his legs, which will allow him to push up out of the ground and extend everything through. Okay, so he's lowering, opening, so he can extend towards the target. I think that's an extremely functional way to do this stuff, and I'm going to do my best here on the right to show you guys that. Let me try one more. Oops. Okay, so I'm going through this backswing in pieces, extending, turning, tilting. Now I'm going to lower, rotate, and push. Maybe not quite as much rotation as Sneed in the early part of it, but that would be the idea. One thing to look for, guys, keep the left side low. Stay in your left bend. Keep your left shoulder lower than your right, your left hip lower than your right for as long as possible. You're not going to see Sneed's shoulders level out till later in his downswing. Definitely not early on like some of us do. That allows you to really get open and get ready to push around. Okay, from the back side, let's see Sneeds. You can see a big old hip turn on the way back. Legs have really changed flex. And watch this left leg in transition. So remember on that last camera shot, it looked like his, excuse me, right leg. Remember that last shot, it looked like his right leg was hardly moving in transition. You can see it's violently adding flex as he's clearing his hips. So he's lowering, he's adding flex as he rotates. So he can extend his belt buckle up towards the target. And the really neat part about that, once you start to get this down, is if everything's set up pretty well, the golf club will shallow. It will not stay steep. It is really, really difficult to steep in a club in transition if you lower and open. So here on the left, on the right, and I've thought about shallowing the club for years. Okay, and I've tried it every single way. But the better my leg action gets as I lower and open, the more that club kicks around behind me. Obviously pretty exaggerated here in full, you know, in slow motion. But as you lower and open, the club stays back, giving you some incentive to stay in your posture later into the downswing until you extend. Pretty cool. Okay. Hope that helps you guys. Um, it's not just Sneed doing this stuff, by the way. Here's a video of McElroy. Let's watch his legs in transition. He's lowering, adding flex into the right leg as he starts to clear, getting ready to extend. Jordan Spieth. Legs changing flex, right hip higher than the left. Watch his right leg in transition. Actually comes in further than where it started. It's gaining so much flex as he clears. He's now lower than where he was at address. Watch his belt through transition, getting ready to work up towards the target. Okay? Hope that helps you guys get a little better idea of some of these terms on the backswing. Left bend, extension, getting out of your forward bend, giving yourself a chance to lower, open up, so you can extend on the way through. I promise you the better you make this body stuff, the better you're going to hit it. The less timing, the less you need to manipulate that club.
via your arms, your hands, etc. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps. See you on the next one.